know when Jesus said that whole thing about vines and branches and abide in me, and maybe you don't know that one, we're going to talk about that today from the perspective of an electrician. Hey guys, and welcome back to God's Word Made Simple by Simple Servant Ministries. My name is Aaron Hawk, and if this is your first time visiting with us, I just want to say welcome and thank you for joining us today. God's Word Made Simple is an online discipleship ministry dedicated to taking God's Word and making it simple. We want to help you understand God's Word, apply it to your life, and grow in your relationship with the Lord. Also, if you appreciate this ministry and content, at some point make sure and hit that subscribe button, turn that bell notification to all so you don't miss any future videos. We would love to have you as part of our family. Okay guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking from John 15, 5, where Jesus talks about the being us being the branches, him being the vine. And just as an electrician, of course, I'm always thinking of electrical things, less so now that I'm not working in that field uh, full-time like I was at one point, but it still goes through my mind. And I thought of one that I think would probably make sense to most people. So I hope you'll bear with me and let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments. But with that said, we are going to cut to that video. So in John 15, 5, Jesus says, talking to his disciples, I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Now, super quick, I know most of you are not going to get into electrical work. You can see my shadow there. Hi. Um, I know most of you guys aren't probably going to geek out on electrical work, but I think this is a really good illustration. So super quick, in a house or in wiring, you have an electrical panel, and then the wires that come off of that and run throughout your house, those are known as branch circuits. So anything that runs from your panel off to some outlet, switch, device, whatever, that is known as a branch circuit. And as I was reading this passage the other day, it dawned on me, I'd never thought of this exactly this way before, and I thought, hey, this would be a really cool illustration. So essentially, I have this green wire running here representing power from the panel. So look, every analogy breaks down at some point. No analogy is perfect. Jesus was using an analogy to explain the relationship between him and us when he said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Obviously then, branches come off of the vine and get their nutrition from the vine. <clears throat> but I thought this illustration would be another fun way uh, to sort of illustrate Jesus' illustration. So again, it just pardon the analogy here, but you have this green wire representing a branch circuit. So it's connected here, it's connected here, and then it's also connected back where this one goes, ultimately in our analogy to the panel. So this would be a branch circuit. But what I want to do is I want to change the analogy slightly because this is easier and safer to film than me messing around in an electrical box and also uh, filming at the same time, and it's easier to set up. So I want you to pretend that this green wire represents the connection to the vine, and this light bulb represents you. Now, right now, the bulb is off because I have the power shut off for obvious reasons. So what I want to do is I want to show you if I turn the power on, in other words, there is a connection to Jesus, well, all of a sudden now we have light. We are able to represent Jesus, just as Jesus is the radiance of the glory of God. <clears throat> that's one of the reasons that light is so often used in the Bible to represent good and to represent God and thus Jesus. So in that way, we represent Jesus by shining a light into the world. And in case you're not familiar with it, a classic verse to that uh, end is Matthew 5, 16, where Jesus is talking. He says, your light must shine before people in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. So obviously, when we are shining, when our light is shining, because we are connected to the source, then, hey, we're doing a very good job of representing Jesus. We are not a perfect representation, just like this light is not going to have the same brilliance as the sun. But as long as we are connected, but what happens if I disconnect here? Well, the light goes out. The power is still flowing, but the light goes out. But then when I reconnect, 
boom, there, I have light again. But what if the problem isn't here? Because you may have discovered in your spiritual life that problems can come from multiple sources. So what if my problem's not here? What if my problem is somewhere else in my relationship with the Lord? Well, if I'm here and I disconnect from the power source, well, now I am no longer connected to the source. And that was the point that Jesus was making. He's saying, look, I'm the vine, you're the branches. Branches die without a connection to the vine. Well, in the same way right now, we still have a ground and a neutral connected to this light bulb. And for the electricians out there, yes, I'm aware the ground is not doing anything in this. Um, but we still have a connection to the neutral, but there's no power being pushed to the light bulb. And therefore, it doesn't matter if we have power coming back. So if I reconnect here, now we have power once again. But what if it's a different problem in my spiritual life? Instead of being a problem with incoming, it's a problem with outgoing. I've just decided I'm not serving God anymore or I'm not serving the church, etc. Because Jesus was clear about uh, being involved in our local church. Well, now I have a different problem. Now I have power coming in. If I were to ground myself to this, I would get electrocuted because power is coming in, but it is no longer going out. However, if I come here and now I reestablish my connection to the kingdom of God through service and other things, now my light is once again able to shine. So I thought this might be a helpful illustration. I don't know, maybe it's just cheesy. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, it's a little bit of a different video from normal, but I thought this might be helpful because there are so many ways to break this connection and yet it is all about being grounded in Christ back to the original verse. I am the vine, you are the branches, Jesus speaking. Any way that we are not connecting with him, I gave you applicational examples, right? Maybe I stop reading. Well, now I don't have the power coming in. If you didn't know the black is power coming in. Right? I am no longer worshiping. I'm no longer reading. I'm no longer really caring what Jesus has to say. Well, that's power coming in. Power going out is doing what Jesus told us to do. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. Well, that's an outgoing thing. So I hope this analogy makes sense. I probably am not doing the best job of explaining, but bottom line, the power here represents receiving from Jesus. The neutral or power going out represents obeying God's commands. Any of those that we are disconnected in means we are disconnecting from Christ. And that ultimately means no power. So think about that one for a moment, guys, or maybe longer than a moment. I think it's a good analogy. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. In the meantime, do all that algorithm stuff that you know to do. Uh, hit like, subscribe, turn that bell notification to all. Let us know what you think of this video. And hey, share the channel with some other people and let's see this thing grow. All right, guys, God bless.